asleep at the wheel. Oh, we didn't crash. It's a miracle. If technology has taught us anything, it's that innovation never stops trucking along. We're riding in a self-driving truck, head down the highway. There is a safety driver, but that's only a backup. Insert cheesy line here. Look, no hands. <laughs> You're riding shotgun with Starsky Robotics for this real world test in real time traffic. Other drivers have no clue they're sharing the road with a robotic tractor trailer. It's hey, look, nobody's driving. It's a glimpse into what may be the future of long haul trucking. Why is this a better option than just having him drive right now? So there's a there's, there's been a systemic problem in the U.S., which is that it's it's, it's really really hard to, to hire and retain long haul truck drivers. We get forty bucks an hour to drive these rigs. You think anybody'd hire us if they knew we weren't really driving the trucks? We aim to make truck driving a job where you can go into the office, work a work an eight hour shift, and then go home. Wow. You guys are even lazier than me. In fact, there is someone in an office overseeing our trip. Copy, copy. He's more than 100 miles away in Jacksonville, connected remotely. But for most of our ride down I-95 near Orlando, the real driver is AI. Artificial intelligence. So we're using the cameras around the truck to, to get a sense of where the other vehicles are. The radars have a really accurate position of them. San Francisco-based Starsky Robotics is one of five companies perfecting autonomous driving in Florida. The state has one of the more progressive policies when it comes to testing this emerging technology. We allow for teleoperation in Florida today, uh, but the vehicle itself has to be able to accomplish the tasks of driving. State Senator Jeff Brandis leads the self-driving charge. It doesn't sleep. It doesn't get distracted. It doesn't text and drive. I can drive all night. Um, this is using sensors throughout the car to help and, and to, to help the car make better decisions on the road. And it's exciting to see this technology taking off. Back inside the cab, we continue down the highway, changing lanes and operating like any normal truck on the road. It's all smooth sailing. But what if something were to go wrong, like a catastrophic tire blowout? The way we've designed our system is so that if any part of the system fails, the truck can still be safe. You have redundancies. So we have redundancies, but, but more importantly than that, we have really in-depth tests um, that are constantly happening in the background. As soon as we saw that failure, the system would automatically start trying to pull over to the side of the road. This might all sound like science fiction, but you might be surprised to hear this is not as far off as you would think. <laughs> everybody the Navitron auto drive system is driving the truck for me I think that in the next few years we're gonna see thousands and maybe even tens of thousands of unmanned autonomous trucks on the highway they may not be reinventing the wheel but they're aiming to revolutionize it on the road Josh Cassio Fox 13 news keep it a secret it's a big scam okay